rain since last weekend. Nothing really like we saw last September, but still causing a lot of damage. KRDO News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is tracking repairs to two damaged areas in Colorado Springs. Once again, we see how a lot of rain in a short time period can overwhelm a drainage system. Three inches of rain in two hours Saturday blew out a large section of pipe along North Academy near Chapel Hills Mall. Look at how much erosion it caused. Our crews are out there, the street division's out there trying to stabilize that area now, but for early estimates, it's probably $150,000 worth of damage. The new flood damage we've just shown you is exactly why the city spent millions of dollars in the past year to upgrade some of its existing drainage channels, like the one here in North Douglas Creek. Without those improvements, chances are the flooding that we've had the last couple of days would have been much worse than it was. Another trouble spot was a sinkhole that developed near Austin Bluffs in Nevada. The city says this happened because water from a full retention pond backed up. Went ahead and patched back the road to, uh, to make it uh, safe and passable for the motoring public uh, until we can uh, get into a few dry days where we can actually get in there and, and uh, clean out the system and, and assess what we have. What city workers have is flood repair work that never seems to end. In Colorado Springs, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks so much, Scott. Colorado Springs is also offering to help Green Mountain Falls. Mayor Bach said today he's willing to offer vehicles and other resources to help repair flood damage there. Meanwhile,